Hi guys, it's me Lise and I'm back with another DY Hair 777 video. I know that you guys are used to me getting bundle hairs and closures and frontals, but they do have wigs here too. <laughs> so I decided to pick up one of their new 300% density lace front wigs. Um, and these wigs are kind of made to give you a really thicker appearance. However, it is a lace front, so it is going to be substantially a, lo a lot more affordable than you would be paying for a full lace wig. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I got mine in the 24 inches, and this is the Peruvian Loose Wave. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is really frizzy, so I am going to co-wash it just to kind of get the waves to be a lot more uniformed and defined. So again, I'm just co-washing the hair. I'm going to use my old faithful silicone mix. Again, that's, this is all I use on my hair. That is the reason why all my wigs last for so long. It's because I kind of stick to my silicone mix deep conditioner regimen. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can see where I can purchase purchase it at. I normally get mine in bulk from Amazon. It's like normally 20, 25 bucks for the 60 ounces. But yeah, that's what I use. I'm now taking my dim in brush and I'm just going to brush it out. And um, again, just to sort of unif uniform the waves. And that was the shedding that I did receive upon co-washing. It's a little on the you know, heavy side. However, it's probably just broken hair. Okay, so here's the wig about two days later. It took about two days to dry because I do lay it on a towel for the majority of the time then I put it on a mannequin head to continue to dry. But again, like I was telling you guys, this is one of their 300% density lace front wigs. You have probably around three, maybe four inches of lace in the front. And then there's all tracks in the back. Um, that is what it looks like. Gonna go ahead and get the wig on. And yeah, I know you guys probably do notice those baby hairs. Don't mind them. I'm gonna, you know, fix it. Um, just gonna just gather them all to the front. And then you're gonna take an eyebrow razor and just start to cut, you know, whatever you want to get rid of. I like to kind of start off long and then wake my work my way more so to a natural look. However, um, I'm gonna leave them kind of long. You guys are gonna see as this video progress, I'm going to fix it. So don't mind them right now. I will fix it, okay? Um, but again, this is what the hair looks like. I did pick up a 24 inch and for some reason it appears to be a lot shorter than what it really is. I'm five foot nine and it kind of looks like a 20 inch to me. However, it does have a lot of texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Um, I did take a bottle of water and I redefined the waves because it got frizzy again. This, this texture really gets frizzy, gets really frizzy. However, I'm kind of liking like this fresh out of the shower you know you have your boyfriend's shirt on wet look i like it so i'm just gonna go ahead and go for it um you guys can tell as this video goes on it's going to dry so it's not going to stay like this forever um but yeah here is what the texture now looks like um once you wash the original texture the waves appear to be a lot more tighter um opposed to what it looked like when i first took it out of the little bag um it was a lot more looser but I kind of like the way this looks better. Again, it looks really fresh out of the shower-ish. So yeah, but as you guys can see, I did take care of those baby hairs. I did cut them down. I looked in the mirror and I was all like, oh girl, no. Mm -mm, girl, no. So I cut them down shorter and that is what they're now looking like. A lot more natural. Um, but yeah, you guys do check out DY Hair 777. Um, I will also provide a coupon code right here on the screen to save you guys some money in case you guys are interested. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think about this one and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.